AFTV Ola, um, 2 0 to the Arsenal against Brighton. Didn't really mean much in the end. What have you made over all of this season? I mean, Kronke out first. We need, we, need, we need to get that guy out of the club, regardless of um, you know, what the season's ended like, where we've ended at. Kronke needs to go first, and that, that's the first major. Did you see that he was at the game today? Yeah. Um, what, it wasn't what? him. That's his son. Yeah, Josh, the guy that. But it looks like said, it looks like he's running the show now. Oh, uh, we, we, we won't know yet until until it becomes formal. But right now we see Josh taking all the, taking the front, taking the flak, taking the fans' anger, you know, on mm. the shoulders rather than Stan, because we, we, Stan's always been silent through all the years that mm. you know he's bought the shares. What once he's got, even before he went hundred percent, you know, he's mm. always been silent. So. Um, we didn't expect no better from Stan today, but I just want the whole family out now. I, mm. Hopefully, you know, with everything that's going on with Vieira, Henry, Burkham, those guys can really do something with Daniel Ek. Maybe push up. Wait, the they're saying they're not going to sell them. It's a dream. We can dream as fans, can't we? You know, I, I, we can always. Well, I've been trying to dream, man. I'm just been <laughs> getting pure nightmares. Yeah. And then another one, this, you know, eighth again in, in eighth, the league. Eighth again in the league. It's not where we want to be. As Arsenal fans, it's something we've been suffering from, 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 I'd say over over the last decade, mm. and we've been on the decline. We've needed an owner that could really notice it and stop it right at the stem of it, you know, mm. stem the bleeding. Um, and we, we ain't had the owner to do that, and, mm. and that's why we're we, we're where we're at today. You so know. you think, you, for, it sounds like you're sort of looking at it and thinking, it doesn't matter what happens in the summer, no. spending-wise. No. If they're still here, nothing's going to change. I, I really, I, I, can't, I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel mm. with them. It's got to be a new ownership. And I, I don't want to come out like I'm pushing that message today, but it's mm. the message that we've all been pushing for so long. I, mm. I, I was there when... Even when we protested to get Wenger out, and I will say, I've said it to, to my friend today, even when Wenger had to go, it, it was still the right time for him to go, regardless mm. of what everybody's saying this season, that Wenger would have got us into top four this season, it would have beat all these players this season. I don't care. At the time that Wenger had to go, he had to go. The time that Emery had to go, he had to go. Mm. To me, Ateta had to go this season. You know why? Because it... The, 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 the managers above us in Lampard and, and Mourinho, we only spent an hour above Tottenham this season. One hour. And we was right back behind them. Both of those guys sacked their managers. And look what, look what Chelsea is doing today. What's Chelsea doing today? They're in the Champions League final because their, their, their owner recognised. You know, their owner knew where the bleeding was coming from hmm. and he stemmed it. And then got somebody in charge that could really get them to the promised land. And now it's a one-off game, whether they win the big years or not. It's a it's, it's a cup. You and I, we've been looking for all these years. <laughs> the dream. We can't even get anywhere near it. Mm. We're begging for Europa League, and we can't even get anywhere near that. And now we're begging for. What, are you, are you begging for Europa Conference? <laughs> you mad? <might. Okay. laughs> this is what I'm I tried gonna, to say. I didn't want it. You know, so like. You, you look at what our contemporaries, our, our competitors, the people that we're competing against, what they're doing in the league, and you think, where are we going as a club? Where are we at? And to me, we're not going forward. We're in a free fall. And the, the quicker we get caught and put this club back in, the, you know, where we used to be, the, the, the glory days. And I heard something about Vieira today, the week before I heard something about Burkamp, the week before I heard something about Henri. It looks like there's a, there's, a, there's a theme here, but is there an end game? That's what I want to know as a fan. Yeah, that's what I want to know. That's why I'm here today. That's why, because of all these protests and they've been putting through, even the Wenger protests, I was there, right? Because I want change, I just, positive change, I might say, I should say, mm. positive change. Right? And when, when we did the, the Wenger protest, it was for the, for the positive. All right, it didn't work out like that. But it didn't mean the fans didn't want positive change for this club. Because everybody that I've been following this club for over 30 years, and 
when you look at where this club was at and look at where it is today, I compared it to my friend today. When you look at Formula One, Arsenal is like Ferrari. Ferrari is seventh, seventh eighth place today. <laughs> yeah, they used to have Schumacher. Mm. Yeah, and Barry Kello. But look where they are today. It's true. It's a good, yeah? good analogy. That's what I that, and I know you love Formula mm. One as well. Mm. So you know what I'm talking about. I think we're more like Williams. There, there you go. <laughs> you know, we're, we're bad as it comes. Yeah. And you know when is the owner going to really put his hands in his pocket and really, really do something for this club? You know, uh, th th that's, where, that's where we're suffering. Because when we look at all the other clubs that we're competing with, their owners are putting something, they're putting hands in their pocket and they're doing something for their club. We haven't seen that Arsenal. It's high time that we start seeing that for this football club.